Welcome back, future criminologists. In this video, we will be discussing the crime of conspiracy and proposal to commit treason. Conspiracy and proposal to commit treason. The crime of treason was already discussed in our previous video. Check the link on the description box. Conspiracy and proposal to commit treason is punished under Article 15 of the Revised Penal Code as amended. Article 115 of the Revised Penal Code as amended states that the conspiracy or proposal to commit the crime of treason shall be punished respectively by prison mayor and a fine not exceeding 2 million pesos and prison correctional and a fine not exceeding 1 million pesos. Before the amendment, conspiracy to commit treason was punished by a fine not exceeding 10,000 pesos, while the crime of proposal to commit treason was punished by a fine not exceeding 5,000 pesos. The amendment or the increase in penalty is actually to reiterate the seriousness of the crime and to be at par with the current value of money. This article, Article 15, actually composed of two crimes. 1. Conspiracy to commit treason and 2. Proposal to commit treason. Let us discuss each crime. So what is the crime of conspiracy to commit treason? Conspiracy to commit treason is committed when, in times of war, two or more persons come to an agreement to levy war against the government or to adhere to the enemies and to give them aid or comfort and decide to commit it. These are the elements of the crime of conspiracy to commit treason. Dito, yung mga accused nagsabwatan sila upang magsimula ng digmaan laban sa gobyerno natin o nagsabwatan upang sumunod sa kalaban ng gobyerno o nagsabwatan upang magbigay tulong sa kalaban ng gobyerno. Now let us discuss the next crime. What about proposal to commit treason? Proposal to commit treason is committed when, in times of war, two or more persons has decided to levy war against the government or to adhere to the enemies and to give them aid or comfort, proposes its execution to some other person or persons. These are the elements of the crime of proposal to commit Treason. Dito naman sa crime na ito, si akusado gusto niyang magsimula ng away laban sa gobyerno natin o gusto niyang kumampi sa kalaban o magbigay ng tulong sa kalaban. Imbes na siya ang gagawa, iminungkahi na lang niya ito sa ibang tao. Sa conspiracy, nag-decide silang gawin. Sa proposal, inalok ito sa iba na gawin. Hindi man nagawa yung krimen na treason, liable na sila sa crime na conspiracy or proposal to commit treason, as the case may be. Applicability of the two-witness rule The two-witness rule does not apply to conspiracy and proposal to commit treason because conspiracy and proposal to commit treason is a separate and distinct offense from that of treason. Yes, ang crime na conspiracy and proposal to commit treason ay iba sa mismong crime na treason. Bali tatlong crimes ito. Treason mismo, conspiracy to commit treason, at proposal to commit treason. What if dahil sa conspiracy or proposal na yon nagkaroon talaga ng treason? The crime of treason is already consummated since the perpetrator had already executed what was agreed upon or what was proposed to be done. The conspiracy or proposal is then considered merely as a means 
in the commission thereof. Let us illustrate. Si A at ang mga kasamahan niya ay nagkasundo upang tulungan ang kalaban ng gobyerno. So, meron ng conspiracy. Dito pa lang liable na sila sa crime na conspiracy to commit treason. What if after nilang nagkasundo, lumabas na sila at tinulungan ang kalaban ng Pilipinas? On that stage, ang crime na nila ay treason mismo. Hindi po dalawa ang nakumit nilang crime. Yung conspiracy to commit treason, magiging means na nang siya sa pagkumit ng actual treason. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to share it and to subscribe.